Hey everyone, in this video, let's talk about how you can use your own voice in Suno. In order to do so, here we are at Suno.com and we're all logged in. And the first thing we're looking for here is on the left hand side in the menu, we're going to select where it says create. And then from here, what we're looking for is the option here that says upload audio. If you click on that, then you're going to agree to terms. And then from here, you have two options. You can either drag and drop an audio file or you can record audio. So if you have your voice on a audio file that you've created in a separate program, then you can drag that in here, or you could just click on where it says record audio, make sure that you allow your mic. And then from there, you could see now that it is picking up my voice. Once you're done, you can click on finish recording. And then if you want to trim, you can, if you don't need to, then you can go ahead and click save without trimming. Then we're going to have the recording here. If we want to change the title, we can. Suno is going to generate an image that is going to go along with our recording here. Then we can click on confirm and save. Once we've done that, then here you're going to see where our uploaded audio is. And then what you can do is click extend. And then now you're going to see here that our audio is going to show up and it says extend from seven seconds because that's how long the audio is. Now you can do, you can do up to two minutes. If you have a subscription, if you don't have a subscription, then you can only do one minute. But from there, all you have to do is just enter in. If you have lyrics that you uh, want to enter in, then you can do that. And uh, the thing that's important to note is even though you have a minute or two minutes to upload your audio, if you have a full song, you can enter in the lyrics to the full song. And then what Suno is going to do is it's going to grab from your audio and it's going to analyze that and apply it to the lyrics that you've added here. Now, the result tends to be kind of a roll of the dice. Sometimes you're going to get a really good result. Other times it's not going to be quite what you're looking for. And that has at least some to do with what you're entering in here, where it says style of music. So when it comes to entering in your prompt, you want to make sure that you're as specific as possible. Let's just use a couple of these uh, examples here for the style uh, just so that you can see exactly what we're talking about and what you can do yourself. So just going to use a couple of options here and then you could see here that it's going to show up in the style of music box separated by a comma. Then the next thing I would recommend that you do based on some of the research that I've done, I tend to add a few uh, additional details just to make sure that the result is as refined as possible. So usually I enter in stereo, uh, clear production, mixed, mastered, high fidelity, high quality, and you can enter in some more as well. Another thing too that you might want to enter in is you might want to enter in outro at the end. And what this is going to do is this is telling Suno that at the end of the song, you want to make sure that there's an outro. And uh, that is important if you want to make sure that you have a tight song that's going to be about three to four minutes long. Otherwise, you can extend the song. So if you generate a song and it kind of cuts off at the end, then don't worry about it. All you have to do is just extend from there and you can complete your song. Now, another thing to take into consideration is that when you extend, it's not a bad idea to make sure that you enter in that outro option there. If you forgot it the first time, then when you do the extension, it's a good idea to enter in the outro, or you could do even do something like uh, fade out at and something like that. The more details that you offer Suno in the style of music box, the more that Suno is going to be able to pick up on that and give you a result that you're looking for. 
From there, you can enter in a title, uh, whatever it is. If you have a specific name for your song, then you uh, can enter in that there. And when you're done, then you can go ahead and click extend at the bottom. And then from there, Suno is going to generate a couple of options for your song. And from there, you have uh, successfully created a song using your own voice. Now, another thing that you might want to consider is creating a persona. If you uh, have uploaded your own audio, your own voice, then just to show you here, you have this option that says persona. Now, bear in mind, you do need a subscription in order to use this, but what you can do is you can click here and you'll see the drop down box will open up and then you'll see this option here that says create new persona. When you click on that, then you're going to want to make sure that you select the song that you have created using your voice. Once you've done that, then you can add a name. If you want to just put your own name there, or if you have something else in mind, you can do that. And then you can click save down at the bottom. Not a bad idea to add a description as well. But once you've saved that, then from there, your persona is going to show up in this list. And in the future, if you ever want to use that again, then you can just click on the persona and it's going to bring in the style of music, whatever details you used for that specific song, it's going to come in and show up here in your style of music. So then you can continue and rinse and repeat and you can use that same uh, vocal input more in the future. So that's all there is to it. That's how you can add your own voice to Suno. If you found this video helpful, please leave a comment and like and subscribe for more helpful tips.